This chapter aims to provide an overview of some common map configurations within Dundas Dashboard. It is recommended to watch the tutorial, the Performance Dashboard Designer Interface, prior to watching this video. In addition, the business metrics need to have geographical information as a dimension. If you're not sure if the business metric has this dimension, then speak to the person who built the business metric. When you create a new project, several maps are available for use. In addition, Dundas Dashboard provides many more maps that can be found in the following directory. If you're not sure where this directory is, talk to the person who installed Dundas Dashboard. The business metric we will be using has information by country, so we will be using the world map that is already available. Let's go ahead and create a new dashboard. We need to first add a map to the dashboard. A wizard wrote up here. The first thing to do is to choose the world map. Let's ignore the following screen and just click on finish to close the wizard. Now we need to drop the sales by region KPI onto it like so. This wizard, which we covered in a previous tutorial, will appear. The next step is specific to the map. What's nice is the person who created this KPI has already defined these values for us. In short, the first value is the dimension that contains the name of the geographical location. In our case, it would be the name of the countries. The second value is the measure to visualize. In our case, it is revenue. Let's move on. The next step lets you choose how you would like to visualize your measure. The most common way is coloring the shapes of the map. However, here's a table to give you an idea of all the possible ways you can visualize your data. Note that the paths and the symbols must exist in the map for these other options to be valid. Let's move on to the next step. In this step, we have to define the states of the KPI. In short, the states specify the ranges of values that will affect the property. In our case, if we had three different states, we'd have three different colors available for shapes. Let's quickly talk about the legend text. By typing in the following information, it will automatically show the range of values for our state in the form of currency. You can find out more about keywords on our support site if you want to format the numbers differently. Okay, let's run with this example and create these three states. Click on finish to close the wizard. The first thing we want to do is to hide the labels of the shapes as it clutters the map. Next, let's hide the coordinates and the grid. Now, let's remove Antarctica as this is generally a location that is not used frequently and takes up visualization real estate. Finally, let's hook the map up to a legend so the person viewing the dashboard can understand the meaning of the colors used. Let's click on Preview button to show the results. There are many other properties you can configure to enhance the map, but this tutorial should get you started in using the map in your dashboards. This concludes our overview tutorial on configuring the map.